guys, this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. We are here once again in Medieval Kingdoms. I almost forgot the name of the game. And I spent some time off camera chopping down trees, and we are going to start working on our little house, our first little house. So... I want to edit this. I would like a window here. No, I don't want a wooden wall with windows. I want a wattle wall with windows. And I want windows, a wattle wall with windows. Make sure that's waddle, waddle, and I want another window right here, because I like to look out all around. Okay, cool. So let's start working on this. So So the walls are looking pretty good, and I love all the windows. And I really love being able to carry enough logs without having to go back and forth and dump them on the ground. I don't know if I got enough. Okay, one last bit to do. Do we have enough stuff? We did. And check it out. Our first little house. Our first little house. And... The first thing we're going to do with our little house is light the fire. And, and now, oops, I think we're going to go to sleep until morning. Ah, good morning, everyone. Let's look out one of our many windows. We can look this way and see the creek. And we can look all of these ways and see the lake and the island. And this way we can see down the road. And this way we can see out the front. Awesome. Let's go see what our little house looks like. Wait, first let's look at the chest. And what can we put in the chest? Do we have anything? I guess we could get rid of the feather. We can get rid of our sticks. And we can get rid of our stones. Yeah, look at that. I've got 60 coins. I did accidentally sell my axe. Okay, so let's take a look at the skills. Oh, is this new? Knowledge development. This is the status of your village. Improving the village's status increases its ability to develop the land. Completing chapters unlocks new development statuses, which include heritage, camp, small farm, or oh, hermitage, camp, small farm, farm, hamlet, set, settlement, village, town, and city. Okay.
So, we need to get some skill points. I don't think we have any skill points yet. So, the game wants us to make a temporary... Set a rabbit trap and make some spears and a stone knife. Okay. So let's gather some stuff. Let's go for a little walk. So the only thing we don't have in this area that I, w I wish we did have were berry bushes. Because I really do like to set my rabbit trap near berry bushes. But let's see, I see some bushes over this way. No, not berry bushes. Okay, so we're going to put our rabbit trap around here by this tree, and we just won't cut this tree. So we have to make a knife. And we have to make a rabbit trap, but we need more sticks. Really? It takes ten and we only have a few. Okay. Well, let's gather some more resources. This game is a lot about gathering resources. Feathers. So maybe we won't put the rabbit trap there. Maybe we'll put it a little bit closer to our house. I think we'll hide the rabbit trap over here. Can I make it yet or do I still not have enough sticks? No, I can make it. All right. We're going to put it right here. By the bridge in that little area of Brand of um Oh, St. John's Wort. Where? Okay, now we have to make some wooden spears and hunt an animal. So we'll make one spear. One spear is not going to be enough. Let's see, we have two spears, I think. I think we'll make one more spear. Okay, now they're all in one slot, I think. So we'll do number four as our spear slot. And we are hungry and thirsty, so let's go have a drink. Let's have some running water from the creek.
and we're hungry, so let's have some... How We're 56 out of 100. So, I guess let's just eat 56. Let's just eat this oat roll that should bring us right up. Yeah, okay. So we have to hunt a wild animal. Now, I've heard that there's fishing in the game now. I don't know if it's true or not. But let's see if we can get a fish with a spear, maybe? No, I don't see a fish. But look how pretty it looks from here. That's beautiful. Look how lovely. Oh, is that a rabbit? No, okay, I can't. This is one of those games that won't let me use my laptop to, um, to do any kind of hunting, unfortunately. So let me grab my other one. And that rabbit saw me, and it's running away. Where did the rabbit go? Okay, we lost the rabbit. So I am not going to be good at hunting, you guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, there's another rabbit. <gasps> we got it! So the skinning animation leaves a little bit to be desired, but we got a rabbit! So now we have to survive for the season. So let's go home and see what we got with our rabbit. So maybe we should move our trap to the other side of the uh, bridge. Our fire went out, so let's relight our fire. And let's make some roast meat. So I guess we only got one piece of meat from the rabbit. Didn't we get like a hide or something from the rabbit? Yeah, we got fur. Okay. Let's transfer that fur. Cool. 
Our torch just died. So now we have to survive for a season. And we got a point. Awesome. So I'm going to probably put that point into survival knowledge so that we get one skill point extra for survival activity so we'll build up our skills faster. Okay. And we eventually need to build another house and we need to build um, a food storage thing, I think, or a resource storage thing. Let's see. So, simple small house. Oh, farm. Farming. Right. Okay, so... Let's go gather stuff, and we'll try to gather enough stuff that we could sell things and... Maybe we could sell some axes or something. I don't know. We'll look for some mushrooms. We need to gather wood. There's so much we need to do. I think... I would like to get some bigger animals, too. Okay, here's some berries, but they're no good right now because, well, we could sell them, but they're poisonous right now. But we need to pick a lot of stuff so we can get another point because I would like to put a point into being able to find, like, the herbs when you look at them. So we'll just do a lot of gathering right now. Get some mushrooms. Pick up some sticks and some stones. There's more berries over here. This will be great in the summer. Like, we could pick them now and sell them. But these are the ones that are pretty close to our house, so I, I would like to wait on that. And pick them in the summer so we can eat them. I wish we could use them in recipes. Maybe that will come once the game is older. Be nice to use the mushrooms and the berries in recipes. That'd be awesome. And 
we're earning more skill points faster now for everything that we're doing because I put that point in, which is great. There's some more mushrooms. Alright! We did it! That's what I was hoping for. We got a new level in survival. And I would like to put that in... I think it's survival sense. Yeah. That's where we can scent mushrooms, feathers, and herbs. That is awesome. So we'll do that. So now when I hit the left control button. Is it the left control button? No. There is a button apparently that will let me find stuff and I don't remember what it was. I thought it was the left control button. No, maybe the left alt button. Yeah, it's the left alt button. Look at that. So we'll pick these broadleaf plantains. And as we do this, we're getting more points into survival. We can sell a lot of these, broadleaf plantain. I'm not sure what they actually do. Are they a food or what? What do they do? What are they for? Oh, these are the herbs that heal. Oh, well, okay, that's great. And we only have nine of them? So what does St. John's wort do? Oh, it reduces the level of poisoning. Okay, I got that all backward. I thought the St. John's wort was for healing. Broadleaf plantain is for healing. I guess they're using it like a bandage. Oh, wow. Look at all the stuff all around us. And it's all stuff I would have walked right over. Like, even knowing it's here, I have a hard time finding it. And broadly, plantain is important to keep, I would say, at least 10, maybe 20 on you at all times. Because the, the, uh, the hogs attack you and they can kill you. And there's wolves in the game that can kill you. Let's go get some mushrooms. Maybe we can sell some mushrooms if we end up getting... We might not be able to sell them, depending on how much we can hunt. We might have to eat them. Sure is good to get all these mushrooms.
I think we should probably take down some more trees while we're out here. Because these trees right here, you get four pieces of wood from the maple tree. Hang on a second. I was trying to have a sip of my coffee. Okay, you know what? I think we're going to pick these berries to sell them. Because there's a ton of them right here. And we can sell these for money. guys I think we've got about all the berries I'm gonna get from here so let's see how many did we get 287 ripe berries that is awesome and that's just from this one patch and we could sell them so that's 287 coins right there and we're picking all these mushrooms still My axe broke. Let's see if we can craft a new axe. And let's put this in number one. And it looks like we burnt out our torch, so we need a new torch, and we can't because we need straw. We don't have enough straw. So I think we're missing a log. We chop down that tree and it's getting too dark to find the other log. They go flying sometimes. So we're just going to head back down to the water. And I really, really like not getting encumbered. I know a lot of people wouldn't like to play the game that way. But I, I hate grinding. I, I hate cutting like four pieces of wood and having to run back and drop them off. And then run to a tree. It just drives me crazy. So. Oh, we're dying. I need to eat and drink in a major way. I did not even notice that. So I know our house is the other way. I just want to come up the water a little bit. See if we have any reeds this way. But I don't think we do. We're quite far from the reeds unfortunately.
Let's see if there's some right up here. And if there are, I'll, I'll get a lot of reeds. Here we go. Oh, we got a new level in survival, you guys. And I think I might put it in woodcutter where we log faster. Or what's one with the earth? Slower pickaxe. Okay, what's mule? Wait, okay, we don't have to worry about that because I took that. So we're going to do woodcutter. And let's make our torch. And let's equip it. Okay, guys, I spent a lot of time gathering reeds, which turns into straw. We have 176. So I'm going to try to take a little bit more so we have 200. One ninety one, almost there. So that should be it. Oh, a little bit more. 203. All right. So we're going to have a drink. And we have to have something to eat. So we have these morels. They're only worth one. So we're going to eat our roasted meat. And we're going to have some dried meat. And we're going to head for home. We're not far from home. And before we go in, we're going to check our trap, see if we caught anything. We did. We got a rabbit. So we're going to collect our rabbit, and we're going to activate our trap. And now we're going to go home for the night. And you guys, I think I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. And take care. All right, guys, stay safe, and bye for now.